Dallas coming off a loss against the Detroit Pistons. They've settled into that 4-5 matchup with the LA Clippers, and the first shot comes from Hardaway. Thunder beat the Milwaukee Bucks on Friday night. Also beat Sacramento and San Antonio in this building. Shea's first shot on the step back right at the elbow. My goodness. That's an illustrious crowd there, folks. He's in. Elite company. There is an elite pass up top. J-Dub, who's had that great connection with Holmgren over the course of the season. A ton of guys. How about this? Look, three white shirts coming over. That's what have them rated as one of the top five defensive teams in the league. Oh, Shea, nice spin. Just went right around Hardy. Takes a little clip, scores the bucket plus the foul. Picking up where they left off a couple of nights ago against the Bucks. Just staying aggressive. And Chet Holgren, you see that defense on display once again. Add another block to his total. It was only fouled out one time all season. By the way, this is his 82nd game. Former Maverick player, Holmgren. Got it right back from Dort. Locates the rim and scores. And there is that this outstanding touch on the offensive end from Chet Holmgren. <laughs> Take a look at this move here by Chet Holmgren, folks. Just doing his rookie season. He's played all 82 games. The speed, the drive, and another block. That time it's Cason Wallace. Jay Will on the skip pass. Zachary bottoms the net. As they get the crowd going here on this final day of the regular season. The crowd. Just maintain that confidence that we saw. Morris can't connect on his second three. Nice pass underneath. Sets it up beautifully for J-Dub with authority at the rim. I want to see something really special, folks. He's going to rock the house with this, and that's J-Dub, the birthday boy. Thunder do have the most double-digit comebacks in the NBA this year. As there's a Dallas turnover. J-Dub keeps it himself and then glides his way to the cup. There's a beautiful finger roll as he kept it himself. And now Dallas turns it over on the outlet pass. Yeah, went to the left. Take a look at this, folks. This is why the Thunder play with one of the fastest pace in the association this season. Plays like that. He defended out on the perimeter. Little mismatch. This is what he likes. He can shoot over the top, takes a little bump, little fade away. That's his game right there. He set it up. You can see it the entire time as soon as he got Hardy on him. We felt that from where we were sitting. Shane. Nifty moves. Had to pass out of trouble. Sets it up. Casey Wallace in his spot in the corner. And he drains it. Now, you know the key to this play. Watch this jump pass. I'm up in the air. Okay. Young players, don't try that at home because you get in trouble. You'll be on the bench over here with me. Shea checks the clock. Patiently waiting to make his move. Runs right by Williams. Dumps it off. Count the assist right there. Casey Wallace who snuck inside. We open up, open up quarter number two. There is Casey Wallace yet again. Sneaking on the back side. Ships it back up top. Wallace checks the shot clock. Drives. Lost it momentarily. Tough fadeaway shot. Had the hoist. There is Holmgren streaking in. Offensive rebound. Powers it up right on Powell. Plus the foul. Well, the second quarter, he's doing a little bit of it themselves. Tough finish. Yeah, just over midseason. Oh, Shea got tripped up, flips it up, and is back to the bucket, and still he's going to have a chance for the old-fashioned three-point play. This is so difficult to guard, folks. This is good defense. And Paul's trying to get out of the way, but he's just too close. Watch that little trip up. And Shea, doing what Shea does, he's so clever with the basketball. Wallace on Hardaway Jr., the veteran. Pull the trigger, no good. And Shea right up top, put it on a platter for Holmgren. Right now, just scamper back to his man. And how about that left-handed shovel pass? Yeah, well, and you're loving it, too, because Shea does a good job of driving right into that that scene to force whoever's guard Chet to come over. Just a whole lot of energy on one play by the big man. And you're getting what they want on this end. Shea leans in. Nicely done. Just breaking down this Dallas defense at will. And there's Isaiah Joe. As Prosper lost his balance. Right across the baseline. Casey Wallace battles it home again. 
two other guys that are part of that conversation, Michael, jo Michael Jordan and Steph Curry, both multiple-time MVPs, guys. Yeah, thank you so much, Paris. And you can really dig into the numbers a lot, Michael, with a lot of the advanced metrics. And consecutive year making an all-star team. Think about it too, Michael, in the context of playing in the Western Conference and just how difficult the West has been this year. It is absolutely loaded. You see a little bit of a... The ball swings from Jalen Williams and then hands it off to Wiggins. Wiggins, there's the three. This coming weekend, Nick and Paris, they'll take you through it, break it all down and get you... Shea. From the outside, still looking to unpack that three. Can't do it there. But Isaiah Joe flies in for that intercept. Just tell me. I'm, I'm glad you read it off. And I really would like to see it again because there was just so many possibilities that are all very real. As Wiggins off the steal. Might have been bumped off his spot. Had been decided. All those coming on the Eastern Conference. Giddy rifles that pass. Diagonally to the corner where Dork spots up, takes a little dribble to sidestep left, and rips the cords from three. You're talking about they got a chance to win 57 games this afternoon, folks, and finish the regular season. If that's not a statement for coach of the year, then that's not a beautiful move by Jay Will. Break it down for us. He's going to break it with a little cradle there. Watch this here. Rocking the baby. Oh, yeah. yeah. And half that has been dominated, controlled. Giddy, offensive rebound, the putback, and another and one opportunity. And you, you talked about the rebounding, Michael, before this game. Something that you wanted to see from Oklahoma City, and so far they've been getting on the offensive glass. Well, you saw so much of what they do on the offensive end, and they were dedicated on the defensive end. They're another and one here. Moving the basketball, backdoor cut, overplay, on the wing, getting the easy shots, sharing the basketball. Terrific. Terrific in his second All-Star season. It has been an All-Star season and then some, including the addition of Jason Wallace, the rookie. It's the regular season, game number 82. One more quarter to go. Denver and Minnesota. Kenrich, no, and Muscala. Speaks very highly of him. And he knows the organization. Using his size, using that muscle of physicality to chisel his way to the cup. There's nobody played last night. Am I nobody in that? the NBA played last night, correct. Okay. No double, no back-to-backs. Build out that lead. Do what you're supposed to do. Play to your identity. Build out that lead, and then you let guys like Usman Jang and Bismack Biombo come in and finish this one out. And make sure to stay tuned. All the Thunder social media channels have the latest updates as Gordon Hayward turns the corner there. With under five minutes to go in this third quarter. Hardy started the game for Dallas. That time he got rejected. And a couple of emphatic rejections for the Thunder. Wiggins has the feet set. Compass here, patience. Just waiting for the shot to go up with Jane. Blocking it toward a teammate. And Riggins says, sign up, get out there if you want to learn the game. And you're going to meet some young players like yourself that you'll probably run into throughout your high school or college career as Waters will now. Boy, we got we got great guys in the truck taking care of us, Mike. Well, not all of them, but some of them. That's why I got most of them cupcakes today. Jane will go inside for this round. Being thrown around on both sides of the conference. And that's what's so exciting about NBA basketball, folks. You know, there's always something at stake. You know, you don't really necessarily look at the standings day to day. You just kind of follow it in terms of almost like a, a cluster. With Denver currently well in front of the Memphis Grizzlies. That game in the early minutes of the fourth quarter, a lot of contact there. No whistle. That's what you like. Wow. Mike took a shot to the solar plex. Man, and Waters just continues to rain threes. That's his third one in this quarter. And Lindy Waters really made the most out of his opportunity with OKC. Being a two-way player, spending time in the G League. Nice cut of the backside. Usman Jay really played through it. We're such a young team, a selfless team. 
And his foot playing a certain brand of basketball, winning basketball. What a recovery there by Usman Jang. That was a fantastic defensive play. And he is playing confident basketball. That's a pin on the backboard. Yeah, just using his God given talents, folks. He's six foot ten. He's put the time in. Getting some minutes here in this second half in game number 82. Kenrich Williams. You know, they've had a whole plethora of games like that where they just continue to play basketball no matter what the score is. Club to close it out here, final 240. Oh, Usman Jane setting up the alley oop, but that was a contorted one. But nonetheless, still some excitement remains. The Thunder. Usman Jang, shot clock, little gentleman's turnover. Mark Dagnall, Jason Kidd, a little embrace midcourt. It's time for today's Thunder Play of the Game, brought to you by Riverwind Casino. And how can you give it to one guy when you got everybody who played scored, Michael, all 15 players. First time in OKC history, and the Thunder can now finally set their sights on the playoffs for the first time since 2020. They have earned the right to go forward as the playoffs are coming back to Oklahoma City. And it has come with a season 